Brand with Kyle Bradish today, 82 pitches in double-A buoy, and he said he was feeling back to his old self. What are your expectations this evening? Kind of, no, no, you know, you don't know what to expect, uh, honestly, because um, just he's missed a little bit of time, but encouraged by his last rehab start. I was really encouraged with how he threw the ball in Texas before he got hit with the, on, the, on the foot there with the line drive. I thought he had great stuff that day, and, um, and hopefully he can pick up where he left off there, that day in Texas and, and give us some innings tonight. Any limitations? No. Uh, was it a difficult decision to send the last bit down? Well, we have to make room. Uh, and, you know, Logan had a lot of appearances for us. And uh, it was up quite a few times also in games that he didn't pitch in. And so um, uh, we're going to be making roster moves all season long, obviously. And this, these things happen just from availability and injury, etc. cetera. Uh, so... You know, Logan's going to go down and, and uh, be ready to come back up uh, whenever his name's called. To have your rotation be as young as it is right now with Kyle, with Grace, and with just how enticing is that to you? Tyler, too. Yeah, yeah, you know, love the stuff these guys have. Uh, pretty fun to watch Dean Kramer last night throwing 97 in the seventh inning. And uh, so that's really encouraging just uh, how athletic he is. But and Kyle's got big time stuff also and um, you know really Grayson obviously and 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 Tyler it's a they have a all of them have bright futures ahead of them and we're kind of seeing them at early early on in their careers going to have ups and downs but uh, it's been a lot of fun honestly these guys these guys are competing and uh, I want to get to that point where they're kind of competing within each other that we got to that point last year and I think it's I think it's going to be soon um once they kind of get comfortable and but uh, uh love the stuff all these guys have and and uh you know good makeup also but excited to watch bradish tonight honestly just saw the game report on it looks like he threw the ball well a bunch of strikes um good to see him good i think he's doing nine he threw almost 100 pitches which is which is fantastic love when those guys go down and and throw um uh, a lot of pitches and Stay built up for what it's expected when they when they come back up here. So it's not like he threw the ball well last night. Uh, he is go- He. I'm hoping that he goes out uh, sometime next week for a rehab assignment. Nice update on Dylan Tate. And the same thing with Dylan Tate. Hopefully, <laughs> both of those guys uh, are going to go out at some point next week for rehab assignments. Would it take Dylan Tate a little bit longer to get back than Gibbons, or maybe same timeline for those guys? It's going to be pretty similar. It's all going to depend on how they feel. Um, and But we're hoping to get them out, out of Sarasota sometime next week. Good Pardon. chance to swap newborn stories with Keegan Aiken yet? I told him he gets that 15% stronger once you have a, a, a child. It's dad strength. So I'm expecting him to come out through about 98 this next time out. <laughs> Apart from Givens and Tate, when you see how quickly both Arias and Bradish are back in while other teams are getting hit pretty hard, what does that mean to you for the resiliency but also your medical staff? Best medical staff in the game. They were amazing. Um, Brian Ebel, Pat Wesley, Mark Shires, Shooter, our, tra- our, strength, our strength coaches, Trey. Amazing guys. And uh, all about the player, all about... Um, doing whatever they can to get guys back on the field and and uh our players have a ton of respect for those guys and rightfully so they've been doing it for a long time and and uh yeah i mean they've they've worked miracles since i've been here in a lot of a lot of cases and and uh really special really special guys